Hey, this is Quan. Welcome back to my episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we have this cool image around here. And pretty much what this is, is a charging station from the Anchor brand. If you see for this one in particular, it's called a 727. And if you guys saw my previous video, I actually reviewed this before. But this time I want to do like an update video to talk about how well the product been working and to show you guys a better test. But in terms of what you guys do get on here is the same thing that I showed you guys last time with the GAN Prime technology to give you guys a fast charging speed at a safe speed and also allow the product to be much smaller than your typical charging station or power strip, which is pretty cool. And as I showed you last time, they do have these specs that's on the product. So it does have the Power IQ 3.0 technology. And if you guys turn on the back, they also provide some more specs about the product as well. So I showed you guys the unboxing last time. Let me just show you guys what the product looks like since we already did the unboxing last time already. So here is what you guys do get when you guys do get the product. So the cable and the actual product is separate when you guys do get it. But for the cable, it's three prong. And here is where you can plug in to this side right here. And when you guys do feel the cable, it is a very high quality cable, which is really nice. But let's take a look at the product. So for the product, it does have two AC options that does stick out when you guys do plug it in, which I will show you in a second what I mean. Right here, we do have the brand name and it should have in here light to show you guys when it's working or not. But this part right here is not a wire charging option. If you guys look inside the product, they do mention how it does have a GAN Prime technology. And right here, we do have the button where to turn on and turn off the in here light. So once you guys do press on one time, it should turn on. If you guys turn inside right here, we do have a bunch of output. So we do have two USB option and two USB-C option. And we see for this one, we do have a logo or symbol to let you guys know this is for charging your laptop or your device. So we'll probably have the most power when you guys do test out this one. And then here is what the bottom part looks like. So it does have the non-stick material on here to prevent it from moving around when you guys do use it. And when you guys do look at the size of the product, it's not that big. It is very long, but when you guys look at the side, it's actually very thin and very slim. And when you guys do feel the materials on here, it does feel like a high quality material that feels really soft and very smooth but that is everything that's on the product. What I'm doing right now is to plug it in to show you guys how it works and when it actually works. And also test out power on here to show you guys how much power it does provide when you guys do use it. So I'm plugging this side first. Once you guys do plug it in, you guys don't plug in right here. And we see how once we do plug it in, we do have an inhale light that pops on. So that is how you know when ready to start using it. And like I mentioned for this part right here, when you guys do stick it in, it should pop out. Let me show you what I mean. So let's say for example, if I do use Apple Wall Charger, if you guys do plug it in, watch what happens. And see how it does pop out. And once you guys do unplug it, it goes back in. Let me do it one more time. It pops out. And it goes back in. So really cool and portable design, you can see. And supposedly the max power that's on here when you guys use the AC option is 1250 watts. But now let's try this output on here in terms of USB-C option to show you guys how much power it can provide when we do use it. So for this test, I'm gonna use an anchor cable and we're gonna use this tester that we do have. So we're gonna try the other one that's not for laptop first to see how much power it can provide. So if I do plug it in, the other side will plug it on my laptop. So for this laptop that I do have right here is a MacBook Pro 16 inch. So if I do plug it in, once you guys do plug it in, it'll start charging. And you can see the power that's on here, it does provide a lot of power. So right now it's providing you guys almost 91 watts. You can see right there. And I love how they do have a little indicator light to show you guys when it's charging. But you can see the part definitely does work when you guys do use it, even when we do plug in the other one. Let's try to unplug it and try the other one to show you guys how much power it does provide. So let's unplug it. Plug in this one. You can see how the number is going up. So for this one, it also provides guys 90 watts or 91 watts. So that's probably got a lot of power and very close to 100 watts. So the part definitely does work when you guys do use it. And obviously in order for you to get the power or the charge on here, your battery percentage needs to be pretty low. Pretty much the lower is the faster charge, but once you reach like 80% or anything higher than that, it will slow down the charge and it won't give you guys the speed. And obviously when you guys do plug in more than one device at the same time, it will change the speed on here when you guys do use it. Let me plug in another device to show you what I mean. So for example, if I do use a USB to lightning cable, if I do plug it in, the other side will plug it onto my phone. So I do plug it in, it does work. And if you can see how it does reset the number on here, and now probably you got that much power. So it does make a huge difference when you guys do charge more than one device at a time, if you can see. So right now it's providing you guys 43 watts when we do use more than one at a time. But when you guys only plug in one, it provides you guys 91 watts. So the product definitely does work. And obviously when you guys do plug in your AC option at the same time, it does not affect it. It is separate. So that is everything that's on the product. So after using the product for almost two years, would I say that it's still pretty worth it? For this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality power strip or charging station to use at home or when you guys are traveling. They give you guys the option to unplug the cable so that way you can bring it along really easily when you guys are traveling or something. 
and probably got the same amount of power and different output on here, then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, that obviously don't buy one and save your mind something else that you actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.